Today we're at Rutland Golf Club. It's a parkland course. Par 72. We're looking to break 90. The handicap has dropped another point. 18 now. Open it holds a par 5. And the tee shot finds the fairway. Second shot is okay. Slightly to the left. We have an approach to the green around 100 yards. On the green in regulation, we have a 40 foot lag putt. It's a birdie putt. Comes up short. We have an 8 footer for a par. Misses short left. We tap in for bogey on the opening hole. Second hole is another par 5. It's not often courses have two par 5s to start the round. It's another good tee shot around 200 yards in the middle of the fairway. Second shot is good. Keep it in play. About to take the shot, but here a late four shout. The ball hit clatters into the trees just to the right. This approach is up the hill slightly, 106 yards. And we're on in three, we have a 22 footer for a birdie. This one comes up short, and we miss the three footer for a par, the card another bogey. Hole 3 is a par 4, slight dog leg to the left. And we leak the tee shot out to the right. This rough it was in a terrible lie, so I'm splitting this 220 yards to the green with an 8 iron and a 9 iron. And we're on in 3. We have a 12 footer for a par. Slides by. And we hold the new knocker coming back. Three bogeys in a row, consistent scoring. Hole 4 is the first of the par 3s. Stroke index 18, easiest hole on the course. And we get heavy contact off the tee, losing a lot of distance. Pitch one on, and have a 10 footer for a par. Good pace, but it didn't break as much as I thought. Another bogey goes on the scorecard. Hole 5 is a par 4, dog leg to the right. And we leak the tee shot to the right and are blocked out. Second shot is the poor one. We're still blocked out. No option but to just punch the ball forward. We have around a 75 yard approach to the green. We're on in four and have a 15 footer for a bogey. Just stop short, tap him for a double bogey on hole 5. Hole 6 is a very short par 4, and our tee shot finds the first cut to the right. We have around 110 yard approach to the green, And we end up with a great birdie chance just four foot away from the hole. In goes the putt, happy days, just the third ever birdie on this channel. Hole 7 is a par 4 dog leg to the left. Tee shot pines the fairway. And our approach. Ends up in the bunker. It's 
splash one onto the green and have a 10 footer for a par. Just misses to the right. The card and the bogey. Move on. Hole eight is another par five. And hit a good drive around 200 yards. Second shot is good, it's in play. We're left with around 110 yard approach to the green. Just misses to the right, the putting from the fringe. Stop short. And the card of par on hole eight with no drama. Hole nine is a par three. A long hole. We missed the green short right. Chip one on and have a twenty five footer for a par. There's a tricky uphill putt this one, and we have a five footer for a bogey that lips out. And we card a disappointing double bogey on hole 9. So we shot 8 over on the front 9. Played quite consistently. We still have a chance to break 90. But we have to start putting better. Hole 10 is a par 4. And our tee shot is around 200 yards. Finds the first cut to the right. Approaches around 130 yards, 7 iron. We're on the green in 2, putting for birdie. Good effort up the hill, 30 footer. And we card a solid par to start the back 9. Hole 11 is a long par 4. Stroke index 1, hardest hole on the course. We're a long way back for our second shot, so this is just a layup. We have around an 80 yard approach to the green. We're on in three and have a 35 foot par putt up the hill. And golf's a funny old game, couldn't have got much closer with that putt. Tap in for the bogey, which is still a respectable score in hole 11. Hole 12 is a short par 4. The tee shot is leaked right into the rough. We get a terrible contact on the second shot, took a massive divot, went flat and lost a lot of distance. We have a 60 yard pitch to the green. Miss is right in the bunker. The bunker shot is bladed straight through the back of the green. Chip one back on. And we're left with a 12 footer for a double bogey. Good pace but just misses right. We card a triple bogey, blow up hole, on hole 12. Hole 13 is a long par 4. And we're a long way back after our drive. So this second shot is just a layup. We have around a 100 yard approach to the green. We're on in three and have a 22 footer for a par. Gave it too much, been missing quite a lot of putts short. So this one was missed long and we get the dreaded three putt. Tap in for double bogey, a triple bogey and a double bogey on the card, not good scoring. Hole 14 is another par four, dogleg to the right. 
Our tee shot is 200 yards into the fairway, but we're slightly blocked out. Second shot lands around 50 yards short of the green, so we pitch it on. And I have a 15 footer down the hill for a par. Stop short. Card a bogey with no drama on hole 14. Hole 15 is a par 3, hitting back to the pro shop and clubhouse area. We missed the green to the right. Bump one on. We have a downhill slider for a par. Slides off to the right, and we card another bogey and move on. Hole 16 is a long par 4, dog leg to the right, very tough hole. We hit a terrible tee shot, blocked out. We punch one back into play. Third shot is a top, a worm burner. Goes around 70 yards. We're left with around 150 yard approach to the green. We hit the green, we're on in four. We have a 20 footer for a bogey. Stops just short. And we card a double bogey on hole 16. Hole 17 is the last of the par 3's. And our tee shot finds the greenside bunker. Splash one out. And a 45 footer for a par up the hill. Good pace, stops three foot away. Head down and wait to hear it rattle. Card a bogey on hole 17. The last hole is a par five, up the hill, hitting back to the clubhouse. The drive is 200 yards in the centre of the fairway, we'll take that all day long. Second shot is okay. And we have a 150 yard approach to the green. We just hit right on line. The ball stops pin high. We have an 8 footer for a birdie on hole 18. And the putt drops. Second birdie of the round, fourth ever on this channel. Happy days. So the score was 18 over at the end, didn't break 90, but I came close to it, shot my handicap of 18. We had four par or better scores, just one blow up hole, uh, played well in general, but I think I struggled with the heavy conditions. It was raining all morning, so the greens were a bit slow, so I think that accounts for the bad putting, but I still enjoyed the round. And had a, it's a great course for Adler, and if you get the chance to play it, you should. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I, I enjoyed playing and making it. And see you on the next one. Signing off.